Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's Brookie Marie TV, and today, as you can read from the title, I'm just gonna show you how you can dark, dark, <laughs> how you can dye dark colored hair um, without technically bleaching your hair before it. So I'm gonna insert insert some clips to show how um, dark my hair was. It was my original like hair color. I had red hair, but my hair grew out, so I had dark ass roots and red hair, and that wasn't cute. So yeah, I just redyed my roots and I decided to show y'all just so you can see how you can get red hair without physically bleaching it first and you could go from dark to red without that annoying process. Um, just continue to watch this video if you want to see how you can get <laughs> red hair. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff and follow me on social media and let's get into this video. Okay. So this is basically how my hair was and how much my roots grow now. As you can see, it's really dark and really ugly. So these are all the things you need. You need some type of oil, Vaseline, or something to put around your head so the dye won't get stuck to it. And then here's a 30 developer I use, a 30 volume developer to mix with the dye. And this is a dye, L'Oreal Technique, Techniques High Color in the color Magenta. Yeah, that's the color I use, magenta. Make sure it's this dye. As you can see, the box says for dark hair only. And then you're going to need a plastic bowl to mix it in and like a brush to paint the dye on. And don't forget some gloves to use as well. And yeah. So when putting on the oil of Vaseline, make sure you put it around your neck, your edges, your face, your ears, and everything as well. So guys, I don't, this is horrible lighting oh you can't even see how red my hair is i didn't record me actually dyeing my hair the process because you guys have like actually seen like well i don't know if you've seen <laughs> but i have other videos of me dyeing my hair and i do the same method every time you know after you mix everything together and your things all set you put the oil around your edges to make sure that no dye gets on your skin or your neck or your ears or whatever so after you do that my hair is usually down, combed out. I part it in four sections. So it'll be one square, one square, one square, one square. What I like to do is clip each section off. First, I go around the perimeter of my head. So I'll do, you know, so I'll do the perimeter and then I'll do the sections. You know how it's part? Then I do this, the perimeter of these, the perimeter. So the perimeter of each square, each square. And it will also be down this way and this way, if you guys are understanding what I'm saying. And then, after I do the perimeter, and then that's when I, like, this square. Part, die, part, die, part, die. Since I'm only dying, like, re dying my roots, my roots, like, grew out really bad, and they were really dark, and it was really ugly. So, that's what I did. Basically, my whole head. After you're done with this square, you move on to this square, then you move on to this square, move on to that square. And then it, whatever I had left, I was just like running my fingers through my hair. Since my hair was already red, it was probably just going to make it a little bit more vibrant than what it was already. But uh, I probably record something outside so you guys can see the actual shape. And then we have a song and we have... And they welcome them open arms. Oh no, not right now. I'm not say... Yeah, the dye is specifically made for dark colored hair. So you technically don't have to like physically bleach your hair before, you know, you dye it to get this bright of a red. Um, what you do is you squeeze it into the tube. You mix developer. I like to use 13, I mean 13, 30 volume developer. You mix it together and then it's in the bowl and you just put it on your hair. It's meant for dark hair, so I'm assuming the developer is what lightens it. I don't know. I'm not a hairstylist, but um, yeah, and it works every time. I did it before with my copper hair when I had copper and I didn't record it, but I did it before. They have it in blonde and I'd rather use that than put actual bleach in my hair if I want an actual blonde hair color. Just because it wouldn't dry it out as much, but in my opinion. But yeah, I think you guys should try it out if you want red hair instead of just like bleaching your hair, frying it up, making it all dry and shit. And um, yeah, just do this. I feel like it's better, it's easier, it's healthier. Um, just make sure you take care of your hair after you dye it because you know you have to. 
and yeah make sure you wash your hair with like cut it tr color huh <laughs> color treated hair products if that makes sense or whatever <laughs> but yeah and this is how i went from my dark ass hair dark ass roots to this um actually i dyed it like a week ago <laughs> i'm just now recording the results um as you can see my hair grows really fast and it's probably already growing out a little maintaining red hair is annoying but yeah these are the results and if you want red hair oh i suggest you use this method well this dye and thank you and have a good day like comment subscribe whatever you want to do that would be cute and helpful and follow me on instagram Bricky says what and stay tuned for more videos yeah.